In this equation, we have H2S plus FeOH3. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation and balance it. We have two hydrogens here, and then we've got to count these hydrogens as well. So we have one hydrogen here times three. That gives us three. So now we have five hydrogen atoms. We have one sulfur, one iron, and this three, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have three times one, three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, three sulfurs, two irons, and then one oxygen. Let's leave the oxygens till last. Why don't we balance the sulfurs first? Because we could put a three right here. That would mean we'd have to update our hydrogens, but one times three for the sulfur, that would balance the sulfurs. So now let's update the hydrogens because we have two times three, that's six, plus three times the one, that would be three of those there. So now we have nine hydrogen atoms. That's okay, let's fix the iron, see what happens. We have two here and one here. We'll put a two in front of the FeOH3. So we have one times two. That gives us two iron atoms. Those are balanced. And then we need to update both the oxygens and the hydrogens. So we have our two times three, that gives us the six hydrogens, plus we have the three times the one, that's three, times the two, that's another six. So now we have 12 hydrogen atoms. For the oxygen, we have three times one, that's three, times two gives us six. Well, it looks like it's time to balance the oxygens and hydrogens. We could put a six in front of the H2O because one times six, that gives us six oxygens. We've balanced those. And then two times six, that gives us 12 hydrogens and we're done. This equation, it's balanced. So two things to be careful of. Watch out when you have these parentheses that means the subscript out here, we multiply that by both of the items in the parentheses. Also make sure if you have hydrogens here, don't forget these. You have to count all of those up. And finally, it's often helpful to leave the oxygen and hydrogen to last when you're balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2S plus FeOH3. Thanks for watching.